Hi, this is David Armstrong, the executive producer and artistic director here at the Fifth Avenue Theater with another of our Musical Theater Factory vlogs. And my guest today is Sean Kelly, who is our vice president of marketing and communications here at the Fifth Avenue Theater. And we've got a, a big uh, news event to talk about today. Uh, we are going to make a big change here at the Fifth Avenue. And it's a change that, although is really big for us, probably won't really affect uh, you very much. Uh, but it may con there may be some confusing aspects of it. So we're trying to get out there and talk about it and let everybody know it's going to be actually a really, really great thing. And this is, uh, I'll let Sean tell us what we're going to do. What are we going to do, Sean? So, uh, you know, we're always looking at the uh, letters that we get from subscribers and our single ticket patrons asking about how we can improve the experience. And one of the letters that we got quite a lot of uh, during both Les Miserables and Cinderella talked about uh, how uh, impactful it was when people couldn't find their correct seats or sat in the wrong seats or got seated after the show had started. And we started to look at, well, why might that be happening? And we realized that actually it's because of the way we've numbered our seats, which doesn't really line up with the national standards for what you would do for seat numbering. And this is, you know, we've had the, the our seats numbered this way for many, many years. So for any uh, organization to look at that and go, or, or let's think about renumbering all of the seats in the house and changing the system that we do it was a little daunting. But as we, the more and more we looked at it, we thought, you know, this is really the best thing we can do for our patrons. So Sean's going to talk us through how this change is going to work. Right. So you guys can't see the individual numbers on this map, but we thought this would be a really good way of kind of uh, helping you understand why it's so confusing. So, David, where is J1? Well, let me just on say this map. This is the this is the downstairs. This is the the upstairs of the theater, and this is the stage as right. orientation. So F1. Well, F1 is right there. Right, and then where is F1 as well? It's also right there, and it's also up here, and. And there's another one over here and over there. Right. There's actually six F1s. There's six of almost every seat in the house. And so you can imagine if you are a patron who doesn't come very often, or if you're a single ticket patron, it's your first time at the theater, like many of the patrons who came to see Les Mis were, and as well as Cinderella, you could get very confused about where your seat was, end up sitting in the wrong seat, or ended up getting seated late just because you got lost in the theater. And so what we're going to do is, yeah, I know you can't see the numbers on this one either. <laughs> we're going to do a different type of seating map that uses a different numbering seat. system for different sections so that we can be sure that people get seated in the right place. And how that's going to work is all of these seats in the middle, they're going to be numbered with a triple digit number. So they're going to start with 101, 102, 103. And then all of these seats on this side are going to be the odd number seats. So they're going to be 1, 3, 5. And then all of the seats on this side are going to be the even numbers, 2, 4, 6. Now, unfortunately, what that's going to mean for subscribers is that if you used to have seats 1 and 2, it's probably not going to be 1 and 2 anymore. It it's might be 1 and 3. 1 and 3. If or, you're on the side, or 101 and 102. Or, or 2 and 4. Or yeah. 113 and 114. So yeah. you're going to get your tickets in the mail and you're going to be like, what the hell? <laughs> they have completely screwed up my seats. We haven't screwed up your seats. You're going to come and you're going to sit in the exact same seat that you've always sat in. As a matter of fact, during rent, we're going to have both numbers for the seats there so that you can verify right there in real time that the seat that you had before is exactly the seat that you're going to get for the next season and that we haven't made any mistakes so that you can feel 100% comfortable with the change. Your new number and your old number will take you to the exact same seats. That's correct. And so that communication is going to go out via an email and then it's also going to go out with your subscription tickets. And we're going to continue helping you you know, and helping make this transition as smoothly as possible. All of the front of house staff will have extra staff on hand to answer any questions and help you find your seats. If you get confused for some reason, and we know it's a big change, but ultimately it's going to make it better for all of us because shows will start on time, patrons will be in their right seats, 
everything's going to be really super awesome. But you know, there's probably going to be about one show in there where things will be a, a little a, a exactly. little bit more lively. We're going to have a few are. weeks maybe where of a little bit of shakedown, a little bit of confusion. But in the end, I know it's going to be great for for you, for the ushers, and for for all the ticket buyers. It's just going to be really clear and simple. And right. simple ultimately is good. And so then, you know, the one thing we wanted to show you, right? Mmm, lovely new Please. tickets for 1213. So the other thing that we're doing is we're trying to simplify how we talk about seating locations on the tickets. So right now, you're still going to have your aisle. Here, I'm going to hold it very close and oh, okay. point to it. There we go. So All right. you're still going to have your aisle. So here it says aisle 8. But then instead of saying balcony or orchestra or any of those other possibly confusing terms, right? It's going to say upper right or lower center or wherever you're supposed to be in the theater. It's either just going to be upper or lower left, right, or center. And then you're going to have your seat numbers. And you can see that this is P202. And that's because it is up in the very, very rear of the balcony where we actually have two extra sets of aisles. And so we actually have to go to numbers with a 200 designation, again, even on one side, odd on the other, so that patrons will know exactly where they're at and they won't be confused. It's going to be great. We look forward to seeing you when you come to see Les Mis or when you come to see Rent. And uh, by the time we get to the first show of next season with Memphis, we think it's going to be, everybody's going to be like, well, we don't remember it changing. It's right. always been this way. Or what was the big deal? Exactly. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time on Musical Theater Factory Vlog. Thanks, Bye. everyone.